Hi, I thought I'd just do a quick video of me tramming the head of my mini mill. Uh, you know, whenever you get a mini mill for the first time, it may not be, uh, may not be exactly uh, straight, uh, or if you've changed it for drilling on an angle, or whatever reason, if you've done something really uh, stressful on the mill, it could have moved a little bit. So it's an important or necessary skill to know if you have, uh, if you're doing precision work or you're working on a, a mill. Uh, so I thought I'd uh, show it to you. Right. Okay, well this video of course is for anyone who has a mill that can adjust this way. Uh, some mills, mini mills or mills have a solid column and you don't even have to worry about this. Um, but uh, Alright, so first thing you have to do is a... Uh, first thing you have to do is a uh, rough adjustment, obviously. You can obviously tell it's leaning way this way so you can get a, a rough alignment just by using the uh, the protractor right here so right now it's uh, showing zero and uh, I had it loose already so uh, now the next thing we need to do is I actually don't have a machinist square, I should get one, but I have uh, one of these. What we'll do is we'll uh, line it up with the uh, the quill here, and uh, we will uh, jog down here. And, uh, the, uh, zoom in so what I'm going to do is uh, put this up against here and uh, basically I think they had the, the paper method where you can uh, put a piece of paper behind here so you can see the uh, the line better uh, it's actually looking pretty good right there. So, um, that's the, uh, that's pretty much the rough adjustment right there. So, and, uh, the next step is to, uh, use, uh, the dial indicator. Uh, I'll get that set up and come back. All right, so I have my uh, dial indicator set up with the uh, mag base uh, holder. Uh, the uh, the mag base holder and the uh, dial indicator. I got these at uh, Harbor Freight. Uh, it was like fifteen dollars each, or it was like twelve something plus tax. Uh, worked out to be about thirty bucks for the two. Um, this one it has a a, a V. Uh, shaped uh, magnetic base on there so you can actually clamp it on flat surfaces or round surfaces so I have it uh, clamped onto the uh, the quill here um, so okay what I'm gonna do is uh, in Mach 3 there's uh, if you click the tab button the uh, this pop-up pops out of the side the uh, where it says jog mode uh, right now it's on continuous so when I when I press the, the uh, arrow keys you know it goes back and forth normal jog um, but if you go to if you click jog mode and uh, the uh, oops doesn't want to focus suddenly uh, anyways, the uh, the step function, uh, and when you use the step function, it just moves one step at a time as you uh, as you click it. So this is really good for really fine adjustments there. So what I'm going to do is put that back down there. Um, I'm going to. Zoom in on the, the indicator there. 
uh, I have it, uh, you can uh, turn this, I have this set on zero and it's just uh, just a hair above it. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to jog up or uh, sorry, jog down. I'm going to page down until I get to five. It's touched it, now it's at, uh, it's at five right there. Okay. Now I'm going to rotate this around to the other side of the table. And now I'm at uh, 40. So I'm going to split the difference uh, between 5 and 40. Uh, so we'll go about to 20. I'll just go to 20. Uh, we're going to have to adjust it more later. So. Um, actually using a piece of steel like this against the column because there's no way for me to get my mallet in there without tapping on the, the junction box where all the electronics are and it's just hard to hit it really well that way so I'm tapping with this and I'll tap there until we get to uh, 20. We're at 20. Now I'm going to tighten this down a little bit. And then I'm going to rotate this back. And I've got about 10. So we'll split the difference on that. We'll go to uh, 15. All right. And then we'll come back this way. It's going a little too far. All right. Then we'll take this back. at about five or so. We have five there. Tighten a little bit. Okay, we're at about ten. So, tighten a little. Uh, yeah, it's seven. And over here, we have about six and a half. Uh, I think six and a half over this distance is. That's like we're talking a half a thou here, so I mean that's pretty pretty close. Um, we tighten it up a little more, and 
Let's see. So we got uh, six there. You got about six and a half. And about six. Yeah, about just pushing seven there. Six and a half to seven. Uh, we're just talking about a half a thou from here to here uh, for the uh, for the type of mill that it is and the the quality of the indicator I think that's probably about as as good as we can get.